So what is the other meaning? What is because metaphorical mean that's not the meaning of it. Yeah. So what is the meaning of it? So was Allah not able to express it with the other wording? I mean, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. I mean, so so the, Ibn Taymiyyah mentioned a powerful poet Angaz Jahmiya, mm -hmm. who tried to correct Allah. He said, okay, so Allah was not able to express. So Allah confused us now, because it's cause of confusion according to them. But it's not confusion at all. Them, mm. because of what? Because of the poison of Greek philosophy. Because the Greek philosophy, the ten points of Aristotle, that if you say the the, the amount and the the, the kafiya and the had and all of that, this apply to creation. Okay, if something moves, it has has to have a body. All of this is from Aristotle. That's why you may to read these Ash'aris, Jamia followers of Aristotle. They're not, for, they're, not gonna, they're not gonna say that to you, of course. They, they're gonna, but they're not from the Prophet and Messengers. When the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was reciting this ayah, the Sahaba, remember we were talking about Isa here. We're talking about the most important thing, knowing about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When Allah mentioned this attribute about himself, for us to know about him, okay? However, Allah did it in a way cause confusion according to them. But we say no, you see, also, let me ask you, what is the origin of the language? Is it metaphorical or is it the apparent meaning? The origin of any language? Is it, apparent meaning. The apparent meaning, yeah. If I say Isa, I'm going home. What are you going to understand? I'm going home. Yeah. So you see, and that's why, so, so now, when you say it's metaphorical, we say to you, okay, where do you get that from? For us, never says metaphorical. Our book can never say it's metaphorical, you know? But would there be anything, would you say there's anything in the Quran that could be classed as metaphorical? Some scholars mentioned there is some metaphorical, but not in, in Ghaibiyat. Okay. Allah, but me, I'm an opinion of, there is no metaphorical in the Quran at all. At no. all. No, not at all. You know, not at all. Because metaphorical mean, like for example, if I said to you, Isa, you're a lion. They say he's not really a lion. Mm. Ibn Taymiyyah said, okay, you saying that the only la name lion was used is for the animal. Show me where the Arab came all together, and they said the only time we use a lion for in reality is for the animal. Where do you get that from? That. You can't do that. Yeah. So you're making up. So it's not metaphorical when the Arab they say this man is an asset. What it, asset, what it means, it means that it's not metaphorical, it's a powerful man, strong man. It applies for a man, animal too. You understand? So, so people who believe that Allah's, uh, like the hand, for example, is metaphorical, would you say they fall outside of, outside of Islam? No, I'm not, not going to uh, make fear on them. But I say they are misguided. They are misguided, why? Because they try to, uh, it depends. Like for example, Jahmiya are kuffar, it's believers. But as as to read this, scholars don't make takfir on them. Because they have this, uh, uh, if the hujjah be established upon him, and he still insists, this man is going against the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and gets the way of the salaf. You know, but the point here is that, we go back to is, in the Quran, when Allah said he has a hand the way of his majesty, and he said it doesn't mean that, so who is, so, so was Allah speaking the truth when he said he has a hand? Okay, another question. If and before, sorry, yeah. before you ask me another question, yeah. Allah said about Iblis, ma mana'aka an tasjuda lima khalaqtu bi yadi. Ma mana'aka an tasjuda lima khalaqtu bi yadi. What is preventing you, so, so Allah addressing Iblis, what is preventing you to prostrate the one that I've created with my hands? So Allah is mentioning something special about Adam, which is why you have not prostrate to the one which I have created with my hand. Yeah. With my hand. Yeah. So the khasisa here, oh, uh, salam alaikum wa rahmatullah. How are you? Salam alaikum. Are you going? I'm here. Clear, inshallah. Okay. The, uh, what was I going to say? There is khasisa. There is something special about it. So what is something special about it is that Allah created him with his hand. And now they say, no, a hand doesn't mean hand, it means a power. Yeah, <laughs> it means a power, correct? Yeah. But we say, okay, Allah created Iblis with his power too. Correct? Mm -hmm. So Iblis could have said, oh Allah, but you created me with your power too. So a hand means with his hand, the way of his majesty. Make sense? Yeah. Okay, carry on. Okay, and another point, if, if they say Allah is above the throne, Allah is above the throne, yes. Their, their argument, logically, yeah, is yeah. that gives Allah a size, dimensions, direction. These uh, okay, all this term is yeah. ambiguous. What do you mean size? What do you mean direction? So, so essentially, this, this the, ambiguous. Argument, the argument is if he's above the throne,
Yeah. He's not below the throne. Yeah. His, the size of Allah does not reach below the throne, so it puts him above the throne. Okay. So his size is fit to the, the space above the throne. Okay, so, so he's, he's not inside the, the throne. Okay, watch this, yeah? The book is above the, the, the cup. Which yeah. one is bigger, the book or the cup? That's it. And this is an example, I shouldn't even use that, but I'm just showing you, yeah. even in reality, okay? The sky is above the earth. Which one is bigger, the sky or the earth? The sky. Okay, so my, my point here is, so in the question, your question, or the Ash'aris, they are Mushabbiha. They resemble Allah to his creation. Because where did they, they get this poison mentality from? From that, if Allah is above this, it has to be size, it has to be this, it has to be that. Why don't you keep quiet? I'm not saying you're here. Them. Why don't you say Allah is above the creation? Allah is above the creation. Because why? Is Allah from the unseen or from the seen? From the unseen. Mm -hmm. And the arsh, is it from the unseen or from the seen? From the unseen. Do you know the arsh size? We don't know the arsh size. Okay. But yes, we say, when we say Allah has a limit, Allah has no limit in his power. Allah, all powerful, all knowledge. Mean Allah is separate from his creation. He's not mixed with his creation. And no one knows Allah's limit, his essence. No one except himself, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Understand? Because uh, uh, the, uh, now, so, so the, again, you're proving my point. My point here is that when they come with this ideology of if you say Allah is above the arsh, you're saying this and that, where do they get that from? Oh, this, these implications, where do they get it from? Is it in the Quran? Or oh, they resemble, they look at the creation and they say, if this will happen to the creation, will happen to Allah. That's what Ibn Taymiyyah said, Ash'aris, Maturidis, are Mushabbiha. So be, they, because of their aql, Instead of cleaning their aql and their fitrah, the Allah, there is nothing like unto him. They resemble us creation and they say, if we affirm Allah is above the arsh, therefore it has to be this way, that way. No. They apply a ruling of the creation to the creator. No, you yeah. understand? The, 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 the confusing thing is that the school that I, I'm learning, huh? yeah. they say they, they're following the teachings of Imam al-Shafi. No, that's a lie. Imam al-Qurtubi, in his tafsir, I have tafsir al-Qurtubi. May Allah have mercy upon him. He said, Allah above the arsh. They said Allah above the arsh. He said, he said the mutakallimun. They say is metaphorical. I'm, I'm just uh, 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 phrasing it. He said the way of the salaf. He's above the arsh in reality, and that's the way of the Quran and the Sunnah and the Sahaba and the Tabi'een and the trustworthy ones narrated it from us. Hey, Shamsi. I'm speaking. Yeah, I'm you speaking have, to him. No. I know, okay. I know you're speaking to Yeah, him. don't speak to me. But you, but yeah. you have greater issues to deal with. No, the greater issue is that you worship a baby inside a woman's private part. <laughs> no, That's the greater yeah. issue. Right, so, Carry on. So, so what, what I want to, my like, final question is, if, like... But before that, yeah. so Qurtubi said that clearly, the way of the Salaf. Yeah. So they say, they follow Shafi and Fiqh. Yeah. That's why when you ask Ash'ari, Maturidi, or those who claim to follow Ash'ari, they say, Ana Hanafi fil Fiqh. Ash'ari fil Aqeedah. But why you don't say I'm Hanafi in Aqeedah too? Huh? Yeah? No, I'm talking to him. I'm talking to him. I'm talking to him. Where are you getting angry? Come down. I'm talking to him, man. I talk to him. I'm holding your mouth. <laughs> so, so what I'm saying to you, that why don't you say Hanafi in Aqeedah? Because Abu Hanifa from the Salaf. They lie and guess him. So what I'm saying to you, they are not the way of the Shafi'i Abu Hanifa. May Allah have mercy upon them. Yes. Okay, for someone who, who's learning confused, yeah, and let's say it, it still confuses me. Yeah. After this conversation, I'm still confused. Why is confused? Okay. Why don't you suffice with the Quran and the Sunnah? No, so, so I mean, you do, but they, they, they can give you an explanation that, you know what, this is, it is, it is what it says it is, but... It, no, we it, ask, so Isa, to ask them, yeah. did Abu Bakr say that? Did Omar say that? Did Uthman say that? Did Ali say that? Okay, are you more eager to learn about Allah and to, 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 to make sure Allah is holy and to know 